We want the Central Valley to be the world's leader in climate smart food and ag technology. We already grow the food. Increasingly, that food requires technology to make sure it's produced sustainably. And right now, we're importing that technology from around the world. So we want our region to benefit from the economic activity that comes from inventing here, manufacturing here, creating high quality jobs here. And that's what F3 is all about. F3 is really getting everybody to the table, including labor, including workers, to say, hey, we know that we have less acreage that's going to be in production. There are going to be fewer jobs. We want those jobs to be higher quality. People who are working in the fields today need to be the ones to have access to those higher quality jobs. So getting everybody together and like really charting a, a plan forward, that's unique in the food and the ag space. And that's what we're doing with F3. We'll know that we're successful with F3 if we've seen literally hundreds of millions of dollars, private dollars invested into the technology that's created here, uh, thousands of jobs created, and really the ability to keep this work going forward, not just through the life of the grant. That's what success looks like for F3. What the community colleges are designing is something we, that's really never been done in California before. And uh, like, for instance, it's like you can enroll any time. You don't have to go along a traditional academic calendar. You get credit for the skills you already have. And that's pretty unusual for a higher education institution to offer. It's called competency-based education. It just means that the educational system meets the person where they're at and then removes the barrier so that they can keep growing in their skills and, uh, and really get access to higher paying jobs. So anyway, worker input has been instrumental in really designing this program. It'll launch next, next year. I think one of the most exciting things about F3 has been the way in which workers have showed up and provided their input. We've had 12,000 farm workers providing input on what's most important to them about the future of their own work. We've had 100 employers showing up. We've had eight community colleges all working together to just create this enormous platform that connects workers with access to training and higher paying jobs. So people saying yes, like we, we want to see this move forward and seeing them come out in droves has been totally satisfying.